hallå, hallå. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Uh, let me know if you can hear me. I um, I need to just. I'm still getting used to this new method of it loading. Hey guys, welcome, welcome. Uh, let me know if you can hear me. I would really appreciate that. Hey Belinda. Hey Christina. Welcome, welcome. Hey Bryn. Hey Julie. Can you guys hear me? Yes, echoing. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, I wonder if I... Let me know, has that improved the echo? Can you still hear me? Is that better? Is that better? Yes, loud and clear from London. Yay! Hey, Roxy. Hey, Mama. Hey, Chris Daniel. Sorry if I butcher your names. I really apologize. Hi, Sheila. Is that better? Is there still an echo? Okay, now better. Yay, 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 yay. All right, so cool. Yay. Linda's back online. Woohoo. She's imposing as, um, as her husband, but she is here. Yay. How does it get any better than that? Um, better, but a little quiet. Better, yes, better, better, better. Yay, cool. All right, I'm just going to talk louder if it was a little bit quiet. And uh, sound is great. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, I've got some colors laid out and I've got two options for you with regards to what we could do for a substrate. We've got either an 8 by 10 You guys have seen me do a lot of those recently. Um, or we can do some coasters. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Uh, I've got Viridian Hue, Grass Green, Burnt Sienna, Gold. Uh, that one is medium, no, lime yellow. Uh, we've got... Uh, Vermilion orange, a little bit of mixed up crimson red, ultramarine, phthalo blue, turquoise, cerulean blue, Payne's grey, and of course we've got black and white. I don't have any iridescent medium. So those are your colour choices. Let me know which substrate and what color combo you guys want to do and also let me know uh, a method of application flip and drag hammers torches what is it let me know tell me tell me tell me uh, okay please use a key frame frequency of four seconds or less currently I don't know how to fix that. I have to look that up. All right, we've got a lot of you from around the place. So hi to all of you. I'm so excited. Uh, I love it when you guys come to play. How does it get better than this? The cool thing about this to this time, it's 9, 9.30 start time here in New Zealand on a Monday morning. But if you are in Europe, it's night, Sunday night. Australia, um, Australia is probably only just waking up. It's like half past seven in the morning there. Uh, but because we've just had daylight savings. And the US, of course, is Sunday afternoon. How does it get better than that? So it's quite a good time for me to go live. Let me know if this time works for you. Um, 
Sue's here from Slovenia. Yahoo! I adore you all. Welcome, Alexandra, for your first time. We have a virgin in our midst. Yes, I'm a naughty one. Um, Brenda's awake in Australia. Woohoo! All right. So Linda is suggesting red, yellow, orange, gold, and copper. Linda, you're psychic, my darling. My copper's not even there, but I do have some. <laughs> it was sitting over on the side. <laughs> Um, Sue wants to do coasters. Coasters. Julie's getting ready to do a vinyl record. Yeah, I actually need to do some, um, sort some labels out on my vinyls. I have used up my stash. Uh, how about blues and yellow to make some amazing greens? Hmm. Red, green, gold, yellow, blue, turquoise. Yeah, we're back to two hours different with Australia now. Well, to most of Australia. Hey, Michigan. Linda in Michigan. Uh, yay, how do I get to... Okay, so we've got... An one person voting for eight by ten. Everyone else has said coasters. I love it how you guys tell me to do things I don't even have. <laughs> so the eight by ten's out. We're doing coasters, guys. So what are we doing to the coasters? You know, we could do a range of colours on different ones. Let me know what you want. Blue, yellow, red, gold. Bronze. I don't have bronze mixed up. I do have some bronze. You guys, would you stop being so psychic? No, I don't. I like it when you're psychic. I don't actually have any bronze mixed up. I did buy some bronze recently, but I have not mixed it yet. <laughs> you want painting? That's a great idea, Laurel. <laughs> Sorry. Painting's a good option. Oh, and uh, wrote something and then changed her mind. So Tracy from Australia is saying blue, yellow, red, and gold bronze. Sally is in Germany and it is 20 to midnight. Thank you for staying up. We have Scotland in the house. Oh, Mackenzie. That's a good Scottish name. Linda's been pouring on 3D objects for Easter and she's loving it. Maybe you could try that sometime. Honey. Check out my videos. I have done 3D objects till they come out of my nose. Um, hmm. So for those of you that use Floetrol and have problems with lumps, get a bit of, bit of um, stocking. Or uh, this is just like um, chiffon -y type material. And trap it around the neck, either with an elastic band or the plastic bit off the lid if, if you're in a country that does that. I'm getting myself really confused because when I look at 
what's apparently running live at the moment. You're almost a minute behind me. It's quite disconcerting. Um, airplane. Line them up and do a traveling ring pour. Now, Amy, that is kind of what I was getting. I was thinking what I might do is just do a really big layered cup and do exactly that, a traveling ring pour. Well, I was thinking of ribbons, but I like the idea of a traveling ring pour better. Can I add some pearl cores? Of course I can. I love pearl cores. You know that? If you don't, watch my videos. <laughs> Middle England, hey, hey. Iowa is in the house. Fun, lazy afternoon in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Yoo Thanks, Tracy. I like that idea too. All right. So should I put silicon in some or all or none? What's happened? Oh, thank you. You all suddenly went quiet. It was like ping, 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 and then there was nothing. Some says Mary. Better now, Echo in Canada. Hmm. I thought we dealt with the Echo. Sorry, guys. I'm not sure how else to get rid of the Echo. Echo, Echo. Some, all, some, all, some, all. <laughs> it's a tie between some and all. Well, I stand here and mix paint. Hey Louise, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you could make it this time. You can't say you never see my live feeds anymore. <laughs> hey guys, if you are joining me and you're not signed up on my newsletter that tells you when I go live, um, head on over there. It's just mickeyart.co.nz forward slash sign up. And I send out an email the day before I go live. And that way you... There's a link and you can click on the link and it will tell you exactly what time in your time zone. So that is always an option. So I'm just going to top up my crimsons. All right. So let's have a look. We're going to do a travelling ring pour on the coasters. Let's move those out of the way for now. We're going to have some with silicon. And some without. Do, 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 do. I got my favorite jug. <laughs> this is a gravy separator jug for those of you that haven't come across them before. Um, the spout comes from the bottom and they're designed so that you put your uh, meat juices in, the fat floats to the top 
and then you pour off the juices back into the gravy making pan um, leaving the fat as it sits on the top as it pours off it you don't pour it in it's really cool um, hey Dalana um, I have videos on how I um, clean off the silicon and varnish and stuff um, so, yeah, that I'm, I'm actually not going to cover that in a live uh, because I already have videos. Um, if you can't find them, flick me a message and I'll point you in the right direction. Uh, yeah. Yay, Twinkle, I see you. Woohoo. All right. How am I going to do this, guys? I'm going to put some white in first, just because we can. Cindy says she loves her gravy jug. Yay! I'm so glad I introduced you all to using gravy jugs for painting. I wonder how many people actually knew gravy jugs existed before I did this. Huh. Alright, so silicon. I am using um, Durex Play Perfect Guide. This is so weird. Why can't I see what I'm seeing? Do you see what I see? If I go in. There, I can see what I'm seeing. Okay, cool. It's back to front. Ah! So this is um, a personal lubricant found next to the condoms in the pharmacy aisle. I use it because it is 100% dimethicone. Somewhere it says that. Here it is. So it's 100% dimethicone. And they have another one. And it's also called Durex Play Perfect Guide, but it is green. The container is green and it is not. Mm -mm, uh -uh, it's not, baby. Um, <laughs> it is not the same thing. It is not the methicone. It's got aloe vera and uh, all sorts of really cool things. But if you were choosing for a personal lubricant, I would definitely recommend using the other one um, but if you are choosing for a painting tool to get cells I don't recommend using the green one you don't need all the other stuff I'd actually be interested to hear from somebody that ooh, crikey, what's going on with that paint um somebody that uses like the coconut serum and um some of these mixtures that i see people using uh what sort of results you get like how how well they clean off um ugh, i don't know what's going on with this paint it's kind of gone jellified it's weird Anyway, so yay! Uh, I just did a pour with one an hour or so ago. Yay! Can't find them here, says Tracy. Um, the only place I've found them in New Zealand, Tracy, is at high end uh, fancy flash cooking shops. Um, but they're definitely available on Amazon. So, uh, what else is available? All right. 
Is there any colour I shouldn't use? I just want to tip them all in. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> um, okay. Let's do that. Because that could be fun. We got some blue. We got some yellow. We got some green. It's not very runny. We got some orange. We've got some phthalo blue. We've got some burnt sienna. We got some that yellow is really floating. Ultramarine gel, <laughs> crimson, gold, lots of gold because I like gold. Some iridium hue. Let's have a just a touch of Payne's Grey and just for Linda because she remembered it and I didn't and she's not even here a whole heap of copper and then we're going to put some more white back in where did I put the white? there it is so this is definitely a rainbow coloured pour look at this That's looking weird. This could turn out really hideous. Did I get turquoise in there? I don't think I did. And turquoise as well. Uh, all of your requests have been covered. Now let's get these coasters set up. Hey, Meerkat from Christchurch. Whoop, whoop. Christchurch is in the house. Everybody show their love for Christchurch. And all of Christchurch is off points. What would it take for all of us to have allowance for other people's points of view, other people's choices, other people's um, thoughts, feelings, emotions, I'm just, yeah. Michelle is being. Allowance is one of the tools that I teach when I do my access consciousness classes. And um, it actually really confuses me why people don't have allowance. I remember when I was at Intermediate, there was a bully at our school. And. Turned out he was actually a nice kid, but because of his upbringing, he decided that to be accepted, he needed to be a bully, because that's what his dad did. And because I was willing to treat him as a human being, instead of as a mean, nasty, awful creature, it changed his life. So what are you unwilling to be that if you're willing to be it would allow others to have more ease and joy and glory and love and light and laughter in their worlds? Anyway, that's my spiel for the day. And we have our pretty pot. And as per request from Amy, I believe, we are doing a spiral pour with this through our gravy separator jug. Um... No, there's no black, Tracy, just uh, Payne's Grey. <laughs> um, happy colours. 
That is quite some pot. Yes, it sure is. <laughs> uh, refocus, please. I think I did. You have a great attitude, Michelle. We need to be more accepting of all people. Yeah, what if we just looked at everything as just an interesting point of view? Our points of view and their points of view are just points of view. Ooh. Debbie, I'm scared of Dutch paws. Did you see my Dutch paw? <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. I'm just, I'm just looking at this, and we've got that 250 mils, 230 mils. So that's about eight ounces of paint here. And these. Why did my phone just make a noise? It shouldn't. These are about three inch circles. So, vote in the comments. Are these, is, have I got enough paint? <laughs> Good night. Sleep well. Thank you, Meerkat. What else is possible? Here it comes. Ooh, these are all gonna be different. Check out this, guys. I'm gonna have too much paint. Way too much paint. Aha. This is very blue. I can see there are new comments appearing, but I can't read while I'm concentrating, so sorry. Whoever asked for turquoise, you got it, baby. Look at those. Huh. Doug, hello. Yay. Doug is in the house. Doug is in the house. How did we all get so lucky to have Doug in the house? We're painting nipple covers, Doug. <coughs> now, would somebody else please notify Doug? I have been a clean, normal person since till he arrived, and then he brings out the best in me. Hey. How does it get any better? I'm loving it. Okay, now, let's have a close-up, okay, 
and I'm going to cross. There are some cells in there. They're a bit weird. They're all different. And I like them. Hello Brazil! The turquoise is fabulous. Time to dip it. Oh Doug, I adore you. Yes, it does look like I'm going to have to do my canvas as well. How often do I do that? I either have way too much paint or way not enough paint. It's funny. Alright. It's time to... Time to use our torch. Now, what I would like you all to know is the torch does two things if you use it the way I use it. We had a bit of a conversation about this on the Acrylic Forum for Fun Facebook group. Smart only by one silly person. But that's okay. She got told off. Um, so what the torch does is it does two things. Now, this is what I use. It is a small, cheap butane torch. It's refillable through the bottom. Um, and it gives off a flame. If you can actually even see that, it's not very long. Like if I put my thumb there, it warms up. This one's actually running out of gas. Um, but it the the pressure of the flame against the paint will sort of. If you think of an air bubble, what it is, it's made of. A pocket of air inside a layer like totally encased by a liquid and the pressure of the flame if you've got a pressure flame like this one um, so sort of moves some of that layer and allows the pressure of the air to actually make it through like it actually Instead of being a layer of denim, it becomes a layer of um, soap, which is then flexible and can pop, right? So it pops the air bubbles. But that's the pressure of the air movement. And you can get that by blowing on it. You can get that by um, all sorts of different methods. This works for me. You can go around with a little pin and pop all the air bubbles if you want to. That's meh. Okay. Um, but the other thing that the flame does is it warms the paint. And if you think of any form of liquid, when it gets warmed, it thins. And when it thins, anything underneath can rise. Um, and so the oil that we've mixed in, the silicon, the dimethicone, can rise up through the warmed paint much easier than um, through the cooler paint. So, I'm just going to run this and I'm, I've got it about as far away from the paint as I had it away from my thumb. So it was warm enough to warm my thumb, but not so hot that it would burn my thumb, unless I left it there for a long time. But as you can see, I'm moving my pan a lot. Round and round and round, not leaving the flame in any one place at any one, for any length of time. Just warming the paint. That is running out of gas.
and the paint lets the cells up through it. Now, if you get too close, you will burn the paint. You will create a skin on top of the paint. And what happens when you create that skin on top of the paint, it's a bit like when you get sunburned. It goes weird. Yes, when you get sunburned, it goes red. The paint doesn't go red. It goes weird. Weird. There we go. Oh, I like these. These are fun. <laughs> Let me zoom you in and show you. They're cool. Hey Carol, welcome, welcome. I'm late for you, sorry. It's quite quite late in, in England. Where do I get my coasters? Um I get mine from Kmart here in Rotorua. Um, they sell them. These are pre um, corked underneath, and they actually sell them as finished coasters in the kitchen aisle. Um, and I don't know who would be dumb enough just to put their cups straight on unfinished MDF, but that's just me, my perspective, my interesting point of view. I like these octopus tentacles, yes, <laughs> totally. Got a few people that have made a, their first live stream with me. How cool is that? How does it get any better? Oops, wrong way. Alright, so this paint is actually quite thick. I'm just wondering, would, do you think I should tilt them or just leave them like they are and see how they... Now, I'm sure somebody is going to ask, how do you finish coasters? How do I finish them and how do other people finish them? Always two different stories, five different stories, 15, 50, 500 different stories. Doug wants me to hammer smash them. I love you, Doug. <laughs> um, yeah, totally. Honestly, guys, $2 for six coasters already with um, cork on the bottom whereas at spotlight they're like two dollars each so 
totally recommend going to Kmart if you've got a Kmart and your Kmart has them. I have no idea what Australian Kmart stocks. I know you have a Kmart over there. But I would say, seeing as I've been into my Kmart quite a few times and got these, that it's quite a stock, a stock standard stock item. Stock, standard stock, 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 stock. And you can probably buy them on Amazon too. Knowing me, I'll probably hunt out the affiliate link and put it in the description afterwards. Once again, I'd like to thank you all that use the affiliate links that are um, for Amazon in the description. Um, it really does pay for so much of my product. Um, you don't pay anything more by using those links. But Amazon gives me like 4% of what you spend. And not what you not just what you spend on the stuff that you click on the link for. But if you go and buy a kid's toy, um, like a G.I. Joe or something on Amazon, any time within the next, I think it's 48 hours after clicking on my link, I get a cut on that too. It's so cool. And it just... It pays for all my cabochons and a few other bits and pieces that I can get shipped over as well. So, and hey, if you want to buy something for fun, you can go and buy my book. <laughs> uh, self promotion. How's it getting better? Um, don't tilt them, tilt them. Balloon smash. I like them as they are guys, it's either tilt them to stretch them, stretch themselves, or not tilt them at all. There is no hammer smashes, balloon smashes going on here. I like the, the style. Um, leave them. That's awesome. Smash that up. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Sarah says, everyone help Michelle out. Smash that like button for the wonderful woman before you forget. I, I adore you. Thank you. Um, yay. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> Let me know how, what you think when you read it. Um, sleep well, Ellie. I'm actually pretty much finished guys. I'm thinking, should I use up this paint now or should I save it and do it on a... How do I find the postage cost? I find it's too expensive. Um, yeah, it, it can be expensive. I, I know I link to the Reeves paint on Amazon, but I really don't recommend that anybody buys it on Amazon. It's very expensive. Um, I pay $6.50 to $7 New Zealand for a 75ml or 2.5 fluid ounce thing. And they're charging $9.50 US for the same size. So um, $9.50 US would be around about 14 to 15, yeah, 14 New Zealand dollars. So you're paying more than double what I pay in a shop. So please, 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 I know you want to support me, and I know I've just asked you to use the links. <laughs> and please do what works for you. Um, if, if you've got the things in a nearby shop and it's cheaper, buy them there. Please. Um, morning, Sue. Uh, <laughs> Mary's asking Tracy if she can hear the waves. Uh, probably not. So. Um, I 
All right. Cool. What else is possible? Uh, let's have a look what's underneath. And Louise, regarding postage on Amazon, um, yeah, it can be a bit expensive to get to New Zealand, especially for big stuff. Uh, AliExpress is probably a better option if you're looking at good postage prices. But they don't have affiliate links. <laughs> Cindy says the Canadian peso. Yes, New Zealand is actually slightly worse than both Australia and Canada. Canada and Australia are almost identical, and New Zealand's just a little bit worse. Um, all right, let's have a look at what these blotches are doing. There's, there's some... Yeah, I'm not excited. I'm not overly excited at all, to be honest. This one. Yeah. It's probably the only one that really does anything for me although what i've just realized is it's probably got cells in them i'm gonna get this one and then i'm gonna play with this paint and see with the torch if they come up with anything better linda wants me to use up the leftover paint How long will they take to dry? Take them to dry, that's that's definitely a variable topic. These are untreated MDF, so it's going to suck up some of that paint. Um, oh crikey, that's very close, Michelle. Where are we? There we go. That's quite fun. I like that one. Uh, and it's starting to cool down here in New Zealand. So, um, here's the one that's got power. I'm going to put a metal one in there. Eek. Bang, crash. Um, Doug's happy that I'm dipping. Finally, I'm doing something he asked me to do. <laughs> Boy, it's quite pretty. That one is quite pretty indeed. In the paper. Not a good plan. 
And the other one that I'm sort of liking is this one. The only thing is it's not long enough for one of my new skinny babies. Some of my some of my coasters are on, on a bit of a lean. Right. So just gonna longer. It's gonna be busy but pretty. I really like brown and turquoise. It's so funny. If you told me a couple of years ago that I would end up being a brown and turquoise girl, I'd have said, no, go on your nelly. Up, oh, where are we? Ah, where are you? Sorry. This is reversed. Doug. Doug, 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 Doug. It's got to be big enough to touch the sides. That's all I'm saying. If that's not big enough to touch the sides, it's going to look silly. Nope, nothing else in there. All right. Bye, Tracy. Have fun. Alright, so guys, I am going to use up this paint because there's still quite a bit of paint in here. Let me just zoom back out again. Um, there's still quite a bit of paint in here. As you can see, there's probably a hundred mils of paint, maybe. I see my finger says. Maybe not. Maybe about 75 mils of paint in there. So I'm going to do that 8 by 10 But I'm going to do that in another video. So you're just going to have to subscribe and come see me later. <laughs> Sometime this week you will see the rest of that paint being used. Um, let me just take you through each of these. As the plane goes over top. Oops. What kind of setting would you put the long cabochon in? Well, they actually have um, they do have the standard pendant settings that you can use and they fit in there so you could do all sorts of things like um, I know that there are there are people that are buying my cabochons off me un, unset to use in their beading and um, to do different things with them so uh, yeah you can do all sorts of things with these things 
somebody was suggesting that you could use them, um, like just glue them onto uh, a piece of art already made as a sort of like a multimedia type thing. Um, what I will say is with the cabochons that have been dipped like this, you need to use fast setting glue. If you use a glue that takes a long time to um, to set, like stays liquid for a long time, um, it will start to seep in between the paint and the glass because it's just acrylic paint on glass. It will soak off even two months later. If you put a cabochon that's got paint on it in a glass of water, the paint will come off. The paint will be in a perfect sheet. It won't dissolve, but it's not actually glued, adhered to the silicon. So, uh, sorry, to the glass. So, um, that is something to be aware of when you're gluing it into the trays or anything. You need to actually use something that sets in about five minutes. Um, I personally use this stuff, which is, um, it's the ultra clear epoxy and it, um, this is backwards to you, sorry. <laughs> so the ultra clear, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ultra clear there. Um, setting time five minutes. The five minute one is also five minutes, but the ultra clear is great in that if you spill it somewhere, it's just going to look like a glass bubble. It's not going to. I like this one. Um, so that's the one I use. I think it's only available in New Zealand and Australia. Sally's Araldite. Ultra clear, and if you get the, the glue to come up and stick to the glass, so that it's make sure it's a glass glue and make sure it sticks to the glass so that it seals the paint inside between the glue and the glass. You basically got a permanent bond, permanent, um, waterproof. All right, guys, I adore you. Lots of thank yous from all over the world. I so, uh, yes, Twinkle, I know. I'm, the whole thing's backwards. It's weird. Um, but I adore you all. Have fun, and I will see you in another video. I'll be live again sometime in the next few, um, few bits and pieces, but hey. What else is possible? How much fun can you have? Whether you're paint pouring, whether you're playing with your kids, your grandkids, whether you're um, cooking dinner. Who cares what you're doing? How much fun can you add to whatever you are doing? I adore you guys. Um, Sarah's saying, I remember you mentioned in an earlier video actually to clean up the size of the cabochon real well and make sure the glue comes up the size exactly so um if you scrape off the the paint from the sides of the cabochon just so that it's only on the flat on the bottom and then make sure that the glue just comes up good remembering sarah you're awesome okay i adore you all have fun and i'll see you again super soon and i'll show you these dry once they are in another video, probably when I use this in the end of that video, I'll remember to do that. Okay, guys, have fun. Bye bye. Oh, what's oh oh Amy? Oh Amy, what is April's challenge? Oh crikey. Hmm. Well, let me think on that. I'll come back to you. We do need a challenge. You're totally right. I'll come up with one. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.